This is part 6 of C Sharp interview questions tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss a simple real-time example where recursion can be used. This is continuation to part 5, so please watch part 5 before proceeding. So, what is a recursive function? A recursive function is a function that calls itself. We discussed this in part 5. Probably, in an interview, an interviewer may ask you to give an example of where you have used a recursion in your project. You may say, in our project, there's a requirement to find all the files in a folder and in all the subfolders underneath in the hierarchy. This is a very good example of where we could use recursion. Let's say we have this folder structure. Notice that the outermost folder here is sample. Within that, we have got two files and a folder. And within that folder, we have another set of two files and a folder. Again, in that folder, two more files and then another folder. And within this inner folder 2, we have got only files. So this is the innermost folder. Underneath that, we don't have any more folders. So basically, we want a method which can loop through this folder hierarchy and give us all the file names. This can be very easily achieved using a recursive function. And here is that function. Very straightforward method with four lines of code. And notice what this method is doing. First of all, this method has got a parameter which is nothing but the path of the folder structure okay so once we give it that path look at that there are two for each loops the first for each loop what is it doing it's invoking that this get files static method so this is going to give all the files within the given folder okay and only the files not the folders okay and what is this for each loop doing simply printing that file name after it has printed these two file names, it's going to come out of that for each loop and it's going to go to the second for each loop. And within this, notice what we are doing. We are getting directories within that folder. So it's going to come here and look for that directory. So it's going to return the directory out folder, out of folder. And then notice what we are doing. We are calling find files, which is nothing but the same method. So this method is calling itself. So it's going to come again. So at this point, it's an outer folder and then it's going to loop through the files within that folder and print them and then it's going to come here again and then it's going to get a reference to inner folder one and then we are calling itself again so it's going to do this until it comes to inner folder two and once it is an inner folder two what's going to happen it's going to print file seven file eight it's going to come to this for each loop and directory.get directories is not going to return any directory at which point the method you know returns so the recursion is going to break and the control is given to the caller so very straightforward method and to speed things up i have already typed this method so let's copy it go back to our visual studio and paste that here so this is a static method so we don't have to create an instance of this class in order to invoke that. Now, this directory class is present in system.io namespace. So let's go ahead and include that. All right, now let's prompt the user to enter the path console.write line. Please enter path. And now, on my machine, I have already set up a folder structure like this. So within C drive sample, look at that, I have got out a folder and then two files. Within that, another folder and then two files. Basically, the same structure. All right, so once the user enters a path, what we need to do, we need to read it. So let's read it into this variable. And how do we read it? Using console.readLine method. And then we are going to invoke this method and pass the path. So find files and let's pass the path parameter all right so let's go ahead and run this so let's enter the path c colon backslash sample that's where we have the folder and look at that i get all the files file one two three four till eight and that's what is the structure so very simple example where we can use recursive function that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day